while no food really lasts forever, there are some foods that will last a really, really long time. Winter is coming here in upstate New York, and I'm getting ready to stock my pantry in some of these foods. Here are 20 foods that tend to have a longer shelf life than any others. Honey. Did you know that archaeologists have actually found honey in really, really old people? Like ancient Egyptians that are 3,000 years old? I do know that sometimes I have noticed that honey starts to crystallize, but you can still use it anyway. Honey lasts forever and tastes good. Number two, rice. Now you have to be super careful with this because brown rice, due to their oils, will actually go bad. It'll go rancid. However, white rice will last a really long time. A lot of these things really do depend on how and where you're storing them. I find that containers with those little oxygen absorbers really help to stabilize the food and make it last longer. Also, you have to be concerned with pests, so make sure they're in a sealed container. Before we go on with my list, I just want to share with you some really great information that I got from USDA.gov and those dates that come on foods. I'm just going to read this to you because it's going to be easier. So there are no uniform or universal accepted descriptions used on food labels for open dating in the United States. As a result, there are a wide variety of phrases used on labels to describe quality dates. Examples of commonly used phrases. A best buy, best before date, indicates when a product will be of best flavor or quality. It is not a purchase or safety date. A sell by date tells the store how long to display the product for sale for inventory management. It is not a safety date. A use by date is the last date recommended for the use of the product while at peak quality. It is not a safety date except for when used on infant form formula as described below. A freeze by date indicates when a product should be frozen to maintain peak quality it is not a purchase or safety date. It does also go on to say to make sure you do the smell test on many things. If you open a can of peas and it smells funny, be safe, don't eat it. Number three, beans. Now I don't tend to buy dried beans because I don't like to cook dried beans. However, if you're looking for a really cheap protein and you're looking for something that's shelf stable and going to last a really long time, consider all the beans, black beans, kidney beans, cannellini beans, pinto beans, garbanzo beans. All of those dried beans will last you a really long time and they each have a distinct flavor. Number four, oats. Oats will last a super long time if stored in a dark, dry environment. Also consider those little oxygen absorbers that I spoke around about before. And it's also super versatile. So not only is oats good for breakfast, it's also good to make breads as well as flours if you need to. Oh, and don't forget the oatmeal cookies. Number five, pasta. Pasta is so universal and it is by far one of my husband's favorite foods. So stocking up on pasta, whether it be in bulk or when it's on sale, is a great asset and it will last a really long time. Number six, most foods that come in a can. I know that in my cooking videos, I've gotten some comments from people who aren't real fond of using canned goods. Now there are some drawbacks to it, but when you're on a tight budget, sometimes a can of peas is actually okay. It's going to be cheaper and will last longer if you're looking for a long shelf life. It's going to last longer than fresh peas or even frozen. If you're super talented and you want to can your own stuff, good for you. Go for it. Like my mom, she does a great job with that stuff. That's your best bet. Growing a garden and canning your own. 
Number seven, lentils. Now, I struggle with exactly what to do with lentils. If you have ideas on how I can use my bags of lentils that I have besides just soups, let me know in the comments below. I get a little stuck on lentils. The only thing I really know what to do with them is throw them into soup. They'll last a really long time, just like dried peas, split peas will, and lentils. They last a really long time. Number eight, quinoa. Quinoa is a grain that's full of good protein. You can do so much with quinoa. You can make them into little cakes. You can have them as a side dish. You can put some brown sugar and milk on it and have it for breakfast as a hot breakfast food, which is a lot better than oatmeal because it has more protein in it. Number nine, nuts. The thing about nuts is they last longer if they're unshelled. If they're out of their shell, they tend to go rancid faster. Now you can preserve the shelled nuts by putting them in the freezer or the refrigerator, but unshelled will last longer on a shelf. Dried fruits like raisins and apricots and dehydrated fruits will last a really long time. They're perfect for snacking and they're perfect for baked goods and for cereals. You can rehydrate them in some water if you want to. If you can, if you have a dehydrator and you can dehydrate your own fruits, it's better than even buying them at the grocery store. Powdered milk. We have powdered milk in our house. I'll tell you, I have powdered heavy cream that I buy because when a recipe calls for heavy cream, it's wasteful for me to buy an entire container of heavy cream for only a half a cup. So I like the powdered heavy cream the best as well as the powdered buttermilk to keep in my cupboard. It will last forever and you can use it only as you need it. Powdered milk is the same way. Works best for baking, in my opinion, but in a pinch, you can use it for a bowl of cereal. Number 12, canned meat, including canned chicken or canned tuna, in my case. I also have seen where they've had canned beef, which makes me a little leery, although we do have canned chili, so maybe. But any canned meat will provide the protein that you might need in a pinch for a fraction of the cost. Number 13, jerky. We kind of love jerky and meat sticks in this house. If you're able to make your own with that dehydrator that I mentioned earlier, it's even a better option. But if you can't, buying the stuff, the jerky and the meat sticks in the Slim Jims, taking me back to my childhood, will last a really, really long time. And number 14 is my favorite, dark chocolate. Even things like chocolate chips will last a really long time. I know that I have chocolate chips that have been around quite a bit that I should really use up this Christmas, but keeping them around for a pinch or an emergency, or if you're building up a winter pantry like I am, you might wanna consider dark chocolate. I mean, who doesn't love a little chocolate, right? Number 15, ramen. Now I put ramen on this list because yes, it's a pasta, but it's also a side dish slash soup and it's really inexpensive. It's a nice addition to the pantry of a food that's going to last quite a while and still be just as tasty with all of the MSG that's in the flavor pouch. Number 16, instant coffee or tea. The joy of instant coffee and tea bags is they last a lot longer. Once you open a bag of coffee or coffee beans, if you don't keep it in the freezer or refrigerator, it's not going to last very long. Instant coffee and tea bags are shelf stable and can last a really long time. Now granted, some people don't think that instant coffee is as tasty as fresh brewed coffee. I tend to agree, but when you're in a pinch, it's not so bad. Number 17, bullion cubes or powder. Now I do love a little bit of better than bullion, but it has to be refrigerated and it's a paste. Having the bullion cubes or the powder is shelf stable and will last a really long time. It might be worth investing in the bullion cubes in case you get into a pinch. Number 18, vinegar. Vinegar is a preservative. 
It's a cleaning agent and has a very long shelf life. You can use it for so much. You can make pickles, you can clean your counters, and you can toss it with a salad. Number 19, salt. Salt and many spices. I have to say a lot of the spices will lose their flavor over time, but storing them in a cool, dark, dry place will help preserve them, as well as salt. Salt will last forever, as well as number 20, sugar. If you're in a pinch and you don't have a lot of money or you've come into contact with kind of an emergency situation or a job loss, sugar will really help. You can make a sweet treat out of sugar and it'll help you get through those tough times. These are the 20 cheap foods that will last forever in your pantry. And don't forget to rotate them out if you don't need them in forever. And make sure that you store them in a cool, dry place. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I truly appreciate you and have a great day. Bye-bye.